Hi, I'm Rob Nolf from Boston Whaler, and we're here at the Boston Whaler headquarters in Edgewater, Florida. I'm going to talk to you today about proper procedure for starting up your 420 outrage. For the purpose of this video, we will be demonstrating on a 2021 420 outrage rigged with three 600 Verado Mercury engines. Please keep in mind that the amount of batteries and the location of the battery switches will vary depending on model and selected engine options. First, ensure that the main, unswitched main, and electronics breakers are in the on position. Then, turn on house battery switch. Turn on the engine battery switches. Ensure that the seacock is in the open position. Turn the blower switch on and let it run for five minutes. This will ensure that the mechanical space is evacuated of all harmful fumes if there are any in it. You can now turn on the generator at the generator panel. Give it a second to load up. Then press the start button. Once the generator is running, you can turn on the generator and generator bridge switches. Let the generator run for a minute or two before turning on other systems. Visually confirm that the generator is discharging seawater and exhaust overboard from the through hull fitting located on the starboard aft section of the hull. Confirm that the generator is putting out voltage using the voltmeter on the AC main distribution panel. Now let's start the engines. Ensure that the throttle levers are in the neutral position. Ensure that the battery switches are on. First, turn on the engine key. Then, turn on each engine's ignition switch. You should hear a single audible beep with the flip of each switch. This single beep is a confirmation of a system self-check. Hearing more than one beep is an indication of a fault code. It does not necessarily mean that the engine has a current problem, but it should be checked out by a qualified Mercury technician. You are now ready to start your engines at the helm. Ensure that the engines are trimmed fully down. Starting the engines while they are trimmed up and out of the water may cause internal engine damage. At the helm, press the single start button just once and visually confirm that each engine has started and running. You can do this by viewing the RPMs on your vessel view. You may now turn on the remaining breakers from the DC distribution panel to the systems you wish to be in operation. You can now open all the seacocks to all the systems that you intend to use. Remember, never open your macerator seacock until you're ready to pump out and are at the appropriate distance offshore. Before turning on any of your AC powered systems, you must ensure that the appropriate seacock is open for the system that you wish to run. Typically, that would mean the air conditioner and the raw water pump. Once those are open, you're now safe to turn on the corresponding breaker to the system that you wish to run. Turn on both battery chargers. Turn on any other system, one at a time, on the 120 volt AC panel that you wish to use on your trip. Remember, do not turn your water heater on unless the fresh water pump is on. This will cause damage to your hot water heater. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you have any further questions regarding this process or any other service related questions, please contact your local authorized Boston Whaler dealer or service provider and visit our website, bostonwhaler.com.